Here at the Biodiversity Institute of Ontario, we've developed a variety of DNA-based tools to identify species. Uh, one of the most recent is a field-based system to detect the environmental DNA, or DNA that's shed by aquatic organisms into the habitats that they occupy, so that we can simply filter DNA from the water and test it in real time on site for the presence of species at risk. This is pretty exciting technology that we are deploying commercially through a spin-out company called Precision Biomonitoring starting in 2018. And this allows you to capture a sample and collect the data about the sample, mm -hmm. uh, where it was collected, an image of the organism, the environment that it was in, uh, with a life scanner mobile app uh, that's uh, available for free to download. Once you have it in the life scanner kit, where uh, in this kit there are four sample vials, you throw it in the mail, it ends up in the core facility, which is in, in this building, gets analyzed, and identification goes back to the phone. Now that usually takes about a week. So uh, there are many cases where you need a response much faster than that. You know, at an airport, a port, uh, potentially in a hospital where you need the identity of some organism that's bitten someone or, or uh, an insect that's uh, a vector. But that's where the rest of this comes in. This forms the lab in the box. And the three key components of that is a miniaturized server that'll do all the data crunching from the sequencing lab, and there's a lot of data crunching to be done. A miniaturized PCR machine that'll run eight samples at a time, which makes copies of the DNA so that uh, it can run through a sequencer. And this is the smallest available sequencer on the market today. And essentially, you take the product out of this with some preparation, put it in here, and this is plugged by a USB cable into the server. Data gets processed, and you get your answer.